four of the six seats in the Ahaf region are held by the New Patriotic Party, but the National Democratic Congress is targeting to regain some of the seats, including the Tano North constituency. Incumbent Member of Parliament Frida Prempe won the 2020 election with 54.2% of votes, less than the 58.1% obtained in 2016. Frida Prempe says some party members orchestrated the fall in numbers. And we were talking about the numbers. The numbers dropped because at that time, some constituency executives, including the one you are talking about, deliberately decided to take some people from my constituency to go and register at the adjoining constituency so that my vote would... They were even hoping. They claimed they are MPP people, but they were hoping that I would even lose. But by the grace of God, I survived. Some people lost. Some people lost their constituency. 2020 wasn't favorable to all of us, but I still maintained my seat and I'm going to maintain my seat come 2024. The MP seeking a fourth term will have to beat spokesperson for the vice president, Dr. Gideon Boako, in the party primary as a first step. The Tano North constituency is expected to be one of the fiercely contested elections in the Ahafu region, but the incumbent MP is on phase. If you are a sitting member of parliament, a third term member of parliament, a former deputy minister for works and housing, a former deputy minister for gender, a minister of state at the office of the president, a minister of state at the works and housing ministry, and somebody calls himself a source person to somebody and calls himself that it's a strong force. Strong force for where? If today you are not a Scottish spokesperson, if I don't say anything, what will you go and report? So I'm not coming not against anybody. And I know by the grace of God, he's going to crown my effort. Those who think they have arrived in the ghost post person, they got that post person through my effort. With the prime page, my party being a so almost That's why they are post persons today. So he's not, nobody is a strong force. Nobody. This is not the first time I'm contesting an election. This is one, this is going to be one of the easiest elections I've ever contested in this country. In the company of some party supporters, the Minister of State and the Presidency filed nomination as they went through the streets of Guyana Panta to announce her bid. Filing nominations for the upcoming NPP primary will end on Friday. For joining us, Guyana Juma reporting.